Hi everyone, this is tax time and it's time to get some money back into your account. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do your tax return by yourself completely free through MyGov and I'll also tell you how you can maximize your tax return. Let's start the video. The first step is create your MyGov account. I have already so I will log into my MyGov account and it's very easy to create the MyGov account as well. So just create on create a MyGov account and you need to fill up some details like your name, a password, and where do you live, this kind of things, and then it will create your MyGov account. It's very easy. So I will sign it to MyGov. Click on sign in. You will get a code into your phone. It's for the security purpose. Next. So you will see this interface in your mygov account now second step is you need to link ATO service to the mygov account if you see here in a linked service in my mygov account ATO is already here but if you do not have ATO in your linked service then you have to link it and just go here view and link service and in a link service like child support you will see ATO here if you have not linked your ATO into mygov so just link from here you need to call at you if you do not have enough information with you to link this okay so when you go to link it will ask some information you have to provide the information and if not done then please call once to at you and then they will give you a link code and you have to enter that link code and it will link so after this go to service now third step is this is the time to start preparing your tax if you see here income tax july 2023 to june 2024 it's already prepared but if you did not see this here you just need to go to manage tax return go to not lost this means the 23 24 tax return you need to lose this one so click on prepare first section is contact details please check your residential address the second one is financial institution bank account detail must be correct okay personalized return in this section most of the sections are already filled up by system but please go through once were you an australian resident for tax purpose to be an australian resident for tax purpose you have to live in australia for more than six months or you can just go to residency status for tax purpose and you will see you are qualified for the residence or not okay so if you have a wife just click yes or if you not then click no now in this section tick following option based on your scenario if you are receiving income from salary wages, uh, allowances and other bonuses then just click salary and wages and if you are receiving dividends click on dividend and then if you are receiving rent as well then click on rent as well okay so it is based on your own scenario and for for the deduction this is the one from where you can claim the, the expenses and get your refund as much as possible so click on the work related expenses other deduction and now go to the next one in this section if you see the required here like this it means your tax is not ready from the employer in so what you can do here is you have to go to your pay and check your last pay of june and match if the income and tax result is correct according to that or not if it's correct save and continue you can go ahead if it's not correct you have to go here you can edit the amount actually edit the amount from here and please add, edit it as per your payslip last payslip okay so manage decision is correct let's go to save and continue so now i received the interest from commonwealth bank of australia this one this uh, this amount because this is the interest and dividend i do not have any dividend capital gain or loss So if you have any capital gain or loss, just click S yes and just fill up the data as, as per your share details. Okay. So this is also easy things you can do it from here. So I do not have any, so I'll just do no and save and continue. Go to deduction section from where you can claim all your work related expenses. But I suggest please only claim those expenses which are directly related to your work and first is work related car expenses Let's go to work related car expenses 
you can claim car expenses based on two methods one is cent per kilometer another one is logbook method and things here is to claim your car related expenses you have to travel between work to work and you need to do at least two or two job you can't claim the car related expenses unless you are traveling from work to work so let's go to work related travel expenses if you are traveling for the purpose of work third is work related clothing laundry and dry cleaning expenses in this section you can claim up to 150 dollar without a receipt and in all of these deduction section you can claim up to 300 dollar without a receipt so i'm claiming 150 as my occupation specific clothing in this section so you claim as per your expenses created self-education expenses what is actually all created self-education expenses is any education that helps to improve your skills related to your job or it will directly help you to increase your salary then you can claim as a expenses so for example if you are doing any job and you you would start doing any courses that will help to increase the pay rate of your current salary or that leads to gain some important skills related to your work then you can claim it okay now or created other expenses so if you have some expenses that you did not claim in above other parts then you can claim it here for example like you have to use your phone in your work time to time then you can claim like as a 20 percent 30 percent as well you, you have done cpr or you did first aid then you can claim here as well that's as well and another one is you do work from home then you can claim your work from home hour from here as well i do not have any other so i'll just go to save and continue medicare and private health insurance this is one of the important things that will actually give you a huge refund okay around 1000 or more than that how if you are an international student you are not liable for the medicare levy you can actually claim this from here medicare levy exemption yes because i am an international student so if you are international student yes if you do not have pr or if you are not a citizen then yes you have a medicare levy exemption the, it's a simple thing is if you do not have medical card that means you are exempt from medical levy 365 days and a half legends number of days zero for medical levy exemption you have to submit medical entitlement statement form you can do it for medical levy surcharge but you do not have you do not have to pay medical levy surcharge if you are happy with your return and if you think it's good now then just lodge it and apply for your medical entitlement statement okay thank you so much for watching if you like the video please subscribe my channel